Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a bit special. It's all about my labor and delivery story and I want to present you my little daughter. Yeah, yeah our new family member. She's called Shivani which means uh, it's a goddess name basically. I'm here with my mom and um, we're gonna go through all the well delivery story because my mom uh, was there and she'll help me if I've missed out anything um, so just to give you a bit of um, background um, so uh, the Sunday before I gave birth uh, we went to the hospital um, because my blood pressure was high um, so when I went there they did a blood pressure profile and they put me on medication which is labetalol uh, like 200 milligrams twice a day and um, yeah so it went back to normal um, they also did um, a sweep um, because I was 38 weeks and something uh, already and um, because my blood pressure was high they said it's fine to do a sweep and then at that point I was already one centimeter dilated and the midwife felt um, some fingers <laughs> baby's fingers and she was like pretty sure about it and she said oh we need to scan you to check baby's position um, so uh, the doctor came and she uh, did a scan and apparently everything was okay uh, she just had like like fingers like her hand on top of her head which was weird but she was in the right position uh, everything was okay and then we spent like the whole day there but uh, she said yeah come back within a week and we'll do another sweep for you um, and then yeah we were back home and um, the next Thursday we had a growth scan um, and baby was growing fine apparently and uh, the sonographer estimated her weight at 2.8 kilograms which wasn't right but <laughs> it's just an estimate to show you that scans are not actually uh, you know accurate, accurate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not um, yeah and then um, the next day which is Friday we went out for some shopping and then uh, uh, yeah my mom gave me a massage uh, there's a whole video that I posted you can check it out I'll leave the link here um and oh come on bless you you wanna get up you wanna go oh la la so uh I've just taken some notes so that I don't forget anything um so yeah we we went out for some grocery shopping um, I had a massage I did some exercise no I did some dancing then I was a lot on my birthing ball and then um, we watched TV till late because Fridays usually my son who is two and a half sleeps over with his grandparents just in case I go in labor we were getting him used to to that uh, since a month or a bit more and then uh, yeah so he was kind of away and then I, my mind and body knew kind of that I would go in labor when he is not around because I would feel like more relaxed because otherwise we would have to drop him off and stuff like that so we went uh, to bed like mid around midnight yeah. and then I woke up uh, in the middle of the night with thinking my waters had broken so it's five o'clock and um, I just um, at half four uh, I just woke up with um, well feeling uh, like liquid coming out of me I thought my waters broke but when I turned the lights on it was blood so here no, this bag is not for me. No. So, because there is a bleeding, um, the hospital said we should just go and get it checked because they asked me whether the baby was feeding, well, was moving, and uh, 
to be honest I don't know usually she's quiet um, well she sleeps in the mornings and it's just five o'clock uh, but just to be sure we're gonna go and get it checked up um, it might just be uh, a bloody show but because there is a lot of blood I thought uh, it's just safer to get it checked uh, then worry about it. So we're just gonna go. Uh, I actually got a bit worried because I was thinking I would have, uh, like my labor would start with waters breaking or uh, contraction starting or a, a show, but here it was blood. So I thought this is not normal. Um, so that's why I was like randomly dressed and we went to the hospital in a bit of a worry. Um, but at that point, I was even no. during breakfast, I was having contractions. Yeah, but after bleeding, you started contractions. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And the uh, uh, blood was very, uh, very uh, bright. red and bright, so it was a little uh, scary, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah the, the blood was not like a normal show. Not show. A with mucus, little bit, yeah. or something like that. It was like a lot of blood. Hopefully. Everybody who's watching here, there's a lot of information. It's a pregnancy vlog and delivery <laughs> vlog, so there'll be some details like this. Um, so yeah, blood was bright red, and that's why it was a bit scary. So yeah, I was already having like regular contractions every five minutes. They were not lasting that long, but they were regular. Um, and then I was, in a way, kind of excited that things were finally happening. I wouldn't have to be induced or I wouldn't have to drink castor oil <laughs> like oh. I tried last time. We escaped from that. Yeah, we, we escaped. escaped. <laughs> but I was mm -hmm. I was kind of doing the right things with, uh, I think, the, the eating dates and raspberry, raspberry leaf, leaf tea, tea. tea um, will also help like make mm. a labor faster. Mm. Um, so yeah, so around half six we got to the hospital, no, we didn't get to the hospital, the hosp like the midwife checked me at that point uh, and then she said, oh, I can see some hair and I was like, what? And she said, no, it's baby's hair. So I was like, wow, <laughs> you can see baby's head already. Uh, that was exciting and I was at that point three centimeters dilated and uh, and they said you don't need to go back home <laughs> you need you you need to stay here because your labor has started and you're having regular contractions so yeah and they said you're gonna have baby in, within four hours <laughs> i'm like what <laughs> this is like crazy how would they know that you know i'm gonna have a baby this fast we were thinking it will be about 11 o'clock or something like that um, but to be honest i didn't think it would be that fast I was thinking labor yes, is yes, like so long. Slow and, uh, yeah. I was thinking maybe after and it will take like a day, the night, evening, yeah. evening or, or something even a day like that. or something yes, like yeah. that. But like the midwives were confident that this is your second time, it's going to go fast and everything. And they didn't seem to worry too much about the bleeding. They said they'll give me some hormone drip at the end of the delivery to to stop the bleeding if I was bleeding a lot. So yeah, that's when we 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 got everything ready, like all the um, essential oils and um, uh, the candle. We dimmed the light, and the midwife was very uh, helpful. Um, she and was experience. an what experience. Is, yes. Yeah, her she name was, was like yeah. Isi, and um, she was experienced, like very motherly nature, mm. and uh, she knew about essential oils and everything mm -hmm. and she said don't use clary sage because it can increase the bleeding uh, so she and knew blood her pressure. Step and blood and pressure, blood pressure both. so clary sage is i took it because it's supposed to kind of uh, accelerate accelerate the labor but labor. we didn't use it yeah. i was just using lavender uh, a mix Ilang. of lavender and ylang Ilang. Ilang. so yeah, Ilang. and uh, yeah, and then I started listening to my hypnobirthing tracks yeah. and then I was on my birthing ball. Mm
I had requested if we could go to the birth center, but I kind of knew it was not gonna happen. So they said no, you because your you blood pressure, pressure is high, you need to stay in the labor ward. So even in the labor ward this time round, we had a big room compared to last time. I felt mm -hmm. the room was better, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then uh, there was plenty of s space. We kind of moved the bed and got the birthing ball um, out. And then, yeah, I was sitting on it, listening to my tracks. And then uh, my mom and my husband were just uh, alternating, giving me massage. Um, so which was uh, really nice. Um, and at that point, um, I was literally in my zone. Uh, I had my eyes closed and I wasn't listening to anything. And actually, there wasn't anything it was to listen. Like a meditative status. You were in a meditative. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. It was that, literally yeah. like hypnobirthing is, is bit, meditation. Is meditation. Yeah. Uh, you are and in confident. your zone. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the in confidence and like very calm and peaceful face and meditative face and you were Thank very you. Intelligent. Well, yeah. yeah, it says in hypnobirthing mm -hmm. that your face needs to be completely relaxed because yeah. um, your jaws and everything is a mirror mm -hmm. of your pelvic region. So if you contract your face, then downstairs mm -hmm. is contracted as well. So you need to just relax, relax. fully. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the only thing that was worrying me is baby's heart rate would would go down um, at each Excellent. contraction, yes. um, and so they were struggling to get basically proper uh, heartbeats. So around I don't I know think what time. As you was on a birthing ball, it uh, the the belt was uh, also not the same place, and it yeah. uh, it uh, yeah, changed so the, the place. Yeah, so the belt kept so moving at each contraction, yeah. Yeah. at each contraction. So, and it so not clear and uh, yeah. change the position. Yeah. Mm. Um, so they kind of tried to get it right, but it wasn't happening. Um, and I wanted to kind of have the baby like uh, sitting or in some sitting positions, but um, they wanted me to go on the bed because they could monitor it better. So I had to go on the bed and then even then it wasn't happening mm. properly. Some doctors came uh, and explained that because um, the heart rate is not going down at each contraction is positive. Um, but if anything was like there was an emergency, they would take actions immediately. So that was reassuring and the doctors were really nice and kind. Yes. Um, so. I didn't worry too much about it. I tried to come back to my peaceful status. And at that point, I was I was going through the contractions with breathing, um, with just breathing and being relaxed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she's smiling. She's nice. <laughs> Can't see it on the video. Um, so yeah, at that point, my contractions were completely bearable. I would just say that it sounds a bit weird, but it was almost pain free. Yeah. Until I got to a moment where I was starting to feel like the baby really low. Um, I wouldn't say anything, but the midwife realized that there is something happening. And she was very experienced. She knew each time, it was crazy. Each time I was gonna have a contraction, she knew. Um, so at that point she said, it was around half nine, she said, um, no, it wasn't half nine, it was around 10 or something like that, that she needs to check me. Yes, um, she to check at 10 o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> so she checked me then and I was nine centimeters dilated already. At that time you was on the bed. Huh? Yeah, I was on the bed. Bird. And um, yeah, I was nine centimeters dilated, and which was crazy. started a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, making voice and it was little 
we were we saw that it was uh, getting un- intense un- unbearable and intense yeah. more and more intense and uh, yeah so you you try a lot but it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i tried to just yeah. keep calm but at that point i think my calm went out to the window no, yeah, and i was starting that, to but, uh, it was to scream <laughs> Yeah. No, you never shout. You just No, I was screaming. No no, no. no, 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 no. No. <laughs> you did not shout. I you was, I was literally little like that, but not it was not. Really I shout. felt I was screaming because no, no, after no. delivery I couldn't talk properly. <laughs> um yeah. So at that point I was 9 cm dilated and she was like, "Oh, right." and then uh, because things were going really fast yes. and she went down to write down something and i was like i'm ready to push the baby's coming out and then i was she came back very quickly and then uh, i had my mom and my husband on both sides and i was just i felt like i was screaming and the midwife even asked me if i wanted gas and air uh, and then i didn't even hear that my husband told me later on that she was asking for it and i didn't listen to anything i don't know i must have been in another zone literally so i was just screaming and then within what a it's minute one minute minute to want to be needed yeah, yeah the baby's head came out so that was the most painful bit crowning and i and then i wasn't getting any contraction to push the baby the body out i was like <laughs> I was waiting for it. Yeah. The midwife said, "You know, get the baby out." <laughs> no, but <laughs> what she did, she take out the the placenta, not placenta, but the, the cord. The cord was on. Yes, here. Yeah. yeah. She take out. So the, the cord yeah. was around baby's baby neck, neck, and that's what caused the baby's heart beat to go down at each contraction. Mm. And um, the midwife even said that earlier that she mm. might have her cord around mm. her neck, and that's why it's slowing her down. so she was right um and so yeah i wasn't getting any contraction to push the baby out so <laughs> i saw she the, just said push <laughs> yeah i saw the head between your legs and but there was the body was not coming out and i was thinking that sometime it it uh, sleep the body itself by yeah. uh, but uh, it was not like that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah at that point i just had to and push the, and the face become little uh, little not violet but little red or yeah, baby her face, or, yeah, yeah. Her face yeah yeah i think she was <laughs> <laughs> like what's happening to me um so eventually i just pushed her out because contractions were not yeah. happening yeah. and then yeah and then straight on my chest and then um we delayed the cord clamping uh mm. for a bit and then my husband cut the cord uh, well oh, done really? darling well oh. done <laughs> i'm just going to press my button no. because i need on oh, so sorry is she okay yeah she is fine absolutely fine oh she yeah. ah, yeah. yeah. come on give us a scream <laughs> give us a scream oh. see done see. done <laughs> Finish the go. Oh wow. Everything works so nicely. Oh, yeah. So good. Right. Let's have a just So we Yeah. Uh, we got her on my chest. My wife uh, covered her. Yeah, we got and, a towel and, to cover her uh, and then yeah, yeah, we just stayed and then she was nice and peaceful straight away. She didn't yeah. cry too much. Yeah, she did not cry. Once only once that she did that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and, and then she was a little bit calm, and she was not uh, hurry to also to uh, for Best feeding it, and yeah. the things. She was not in hurry. My son, <laughs> he came out with like his mouth open, <laughs> <laughs> and he was looking for the breast. She was chill. Yeah, she came calm. out, and then she was on my chest, and yeah, she was calm. Yeah. And that's the skin to skin. um which is important and you have that golden hour where you are just after birth you need to keep your baby on your chest to calm you down and calm the baby down uh, it's it's very important so the midwife left us um for almost 2 hours um to just on our own to just relax and enjoy the baby placenta came out and she, what was important that she show all oh, the things yeah. of placenta and the, and the bag inside the baby was there and yeah. the, all these uh, veins Ve- and vessels. arteries and uh, it was really uh, 
We never saw that and no. it was really interesting. interesting. And she was telling that placenta was little small, mm. maybe because of blood pressure or whatever. Huh? Yeah. yeah. But the, it was fine. It was okay. The, the placenta was healthy, but small. Small. And, um, and she was also small. Yeah. She weighed 2.4 kilograms. And my son was 2.7. So it was a bit surprising that she was a bit on the smaller side. Yeah. But... She was, the I main think, thing is that she was healthy. But I fine. think at the last month you stop all these milk products and all these things, you know, to be was like completely vegan. Huh? Yeah, yeah I went so, vegan uh, yeah. at the end yeah. of my to, pregnancy. Uh, yes, because of edema and all this stuff. You want to stop the, all the inflammation swelling, and yeah. swelling and uh, yeah. So maybe it may be the reason. Maybe but, that means, yeah. But it's okay, it's okay. Actually, yeah, and she's grown. <laughs> she's grown so much now. Yeah, very she's fast. She's almost... Uh, I probably think. three kilograms. Three kilo, yeah. 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 She's now, it's been two mm. weeks and she's probably three kilograms. And then after your delivery, uh, after the golden hour, you went with your husband to take Oh a, yeah, I went for a shower. shower. And you took bath and uh, you wash your hair and like something you finish and now you want to relax and you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So she, she breastfed for two hours mm. um, and then... Um, she was and in then a she little she incubator to to be no it wasn't the incubator it was not incubator but it, it's just uh, the a kind of cot with some lights on on top so she was sleeping on there to increase her temperature because she was what thirty six she had a, and then yeah it was and just she was a skinny so they were uh, yeah so too. the midwife said we'll raise her temperature and mm -hmm. she was there. And then um, she was asleep and then I went for a shower, got freshened up and yeah, and then I, would tr I was transferred to the labor ward, like the... Walking, <laughs> you went walking. <laughs> yeah, but everybody walks. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, everybody walks uh, straight away. Even after epidural, like last time I was walking. Yes, yes. Yeah. So this time round, um, I was really happy because I had no epidural, no hormone trip, <laughs> no stitches, no stitches, <laughs> nothing, yeah. uh, no fine. castanet, mm. um, nothing, and nothing, absolutely mm. nothing, which was, mm. yeah, which was what I wanted. But it's true that uh, we nowadays we have a lot of uh, all this medical uh, help. That's great. But in spite of this, we can do also. There are much more many things to do also, and all the videos that you are doing maybe your intention was to help other ladies other ladies uh, there mm. but also it helped you to find out the, all the research and to find out the what other things for your uh, for your um, well-being uh, during the pregnancy like yoga or massage good food uh, hypnobirthing uh, uh, yeah because insane. And all the you think it really help you a lot, lot, a lot. Yeah. And maybe uh, this video will help other well, ladies, so. uh, ladies to help in their own uh, mm. creation. Uh, yeah. In their own yeah, cause my journey. First, yeah. first one was difficult. Not difficult. That helped you actually. <laughs> yeah. I preeclampsia mm. was induced, had epidural. Not that it was a traumatic yes. delivery or anything. Yeah. Delivery was nice. It, it Finally yeah. it was fine. Yeah. It was fine, but I wanted to avoid all that intervention um, because I've been now researching and reading a lot mm. and then um, birth is the most natural thing mm. in the world. It has been like centuries, yeah. women are giving birth mm. and now with all We the... don't have to frighten with all this yeah, yeah, we, we don't, don't have to, need to be scared. To be scared and it is a normal procedure, it's, it can... It can yeah. Ladies, you can do that. Yeah. I mean, your generation, <laughs> yeah. all yeah. your generation yeah. gave birth mm -hmm. naturally without anything. You had no, mm -hmm. nothing. Nothing. For three, for three kids. She had them most naturally. Mm -hmm. There wasn't, yeah, any epidural, no hormones, no uh, gas in there. I never took one, even something she like, never took, like, like aspirin or nothing. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, and it feels like my generation is it's becoming more and more hard. Natural. But no, it's hard to have. Yes, it natural. is very hard because we are living in a, some modern society. And healthy. Where, yes, yeah. it is a not everything is not a, uh, helping for the health. 
Yeah. You have to do more effort, effort to, to be healthy. stay healthy yeah. and have like it a is not natural. <laughs> health is not natural nowadays. Yeah. yeah, it's not a natural. Yeah, you need to have some efforts, great oh. efforts. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you in my next video bye <laughs> bye